In this section, we'll explore some of the triggers that Mosaic offers when working with our Tessera touch panel controller. These triggers include Tessera button events, slider moves, color changes, page change, keypad code, temperature, and activity. Let's start with button event. Once you've added a Tessera to your system and created an interface, you'll be able to program its buttons. When you come in and add a button event, we have the option to select a particular controller and then a particular button. If you place your cursor inside of the button field and press tab, you'll be given a list of suggestions of all of the buttons within that controller. You can simply select one and set an event, either press, held, repeat, release, or click. Based off of your desired functionality, choose one of these events and then you can program your actions. Let's take a look at adding triggers for our sliders. Similar to buttons, we'll come in here, select a particular controller, and then we can select a slider. If I hit tab, it'll suggest all of my slider names for me. Select one of those and continue to add an action. The next function is color picker. When I select a color picker, again, I have my option for controller, select that and find a particular color picker within my configuration. Moving on to our next trigger, this is MTPC page change. What this allows me to do is pick a specific mosaic controller, select a page, and then choose whether it should trigger when we enter or leave that page. This is useful for setting security on a Tessera or for pre-configuring a look when you enter a particular page. If we've added a keypad to our Tessera interface, the keypad code trigger is useful for working with that. Simply select the controller again, type in a keypad name or select it from the list, and then enter a code. You can add multiple instances of this trigger and change the code each time to allow a single keypad to do multiple functions utilizing different codes. Each Tessera also has a thermometer built into it. You can select a unit and then a change or enters in range and trigger off of it. This is useful if you're putting a Tessera in an area where you're concerned about ambient temperature. Finally, we have trigger options for Tessera activity. You can either trigger off of activity or inactivity. So for instance, if you'd like to turn on a light when someone wakes up a Tessera, you would set an event for on activity and one for off, either triggering or releasing a timeline. 